Well, hey everyone, Pastor Chris here again with just a short devotional from for you this week from 2 John verse 9. And let me read it for us. 2 John verse 9 says, Anyone who runs ahead and does not continue in the teaching of Christ does not have God. Whoever continues in the teaching has both the Father and the Son. Now, the letter of 2 John was written by John the Apostle, warning of false teachers who were present in the church. And these false teachers were teaching a false gospel, one that seemed very progressive, very advanced, one that appeared to be sort of the next level or the next step in the Christian faith. And although these teachings, they appeared insightful and perceptive, very persuasive, they were ultimately wicked because they did not acknowledge Jesus Christ as coming in the flesh. Verse 7 of 2 John tells us that. And so all this high philosophy, this uh, seemingly advanced morality even, amounted to nothing more than clever words from wicked people, people who denied the incarnation of Christ. Well, now we fast forward to the modern day world, and actually I think that the warning of 2 John verse 9 is still very applicable, very important, as actually it has been throughout the history of the whole church. Because there are many new and fascinating philosophies, notions of morality present in our society today. There are plenty of false teachers who appear wise, but in fact, I would argue they're running ahead. That is, they are not continuing in the teaching of Christ. More than that, though, I actually think the church itself even has this tendency. That is, we are so often tempted to run ahead of Jesus in our working and even our planning. You know, for instance, when an idea for a program or an event is so good, we think, oh, oh of course it must be from God. You know, of, of course he wants us to host this evangelistic meeting, or obviously he wants us to do this discipleship workshop. Clearly this retreat, this retreat must be from God. And perhaps it is, but do we pause? and really consider where is Christ leading? Do we take time to pray and to ask for guidance? Or are we so excited that we run on ahead without earnest and honest discernment, without thoughtful prayer? Are we even in danger of running ahead of Christ? You know, sometimes it turns out that good things, really good things, aren't necessarily God things. And so we must be careful, on guard. We must be wise. We cannot go where Christ is not. We have to discern well in our own programs, of course, our own events, but also in teachings, in philosophies, in the philosophies that surround us. We must not be led astray by a seemingly advanced, but ultimately hollow gospel. And don't get me wrong here at all, okay? I'm not saying that we should just you know, sit on our hands and do nothing. I firmly believe that God can and does lead us into new insight, into increasing knowledge of Him. But it's precisely that, isn't it? It is He who leads us in His time and not our own. All I'm saying is that we must always be in sync with God the Father, with Jesus Christ and the Holy Spirit in both the programs and the things we do, but also in the teachings we accept and listen to. But our tendency is, it is very much to run off ahead, especially in society today, right? We are obsessed with new things, with, with progress. And that's good so long as it is in line with Christ. Most assuredly, He will lead us. He will lead us into new and exciting places. Thing is, He has a perfect plan, and we must trust in Him, trust in His perfect timing. Well, that's all I've got for our devotional this week. Thanks for tuning in, and we hope to see you on Sunday morning.